I East Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro, and we're tracking the tropics for you right here in the Fox 35 Storm Center, bringing you the latest on Tropical Storm Fred. There was a 2 p.m. update, so this is fresh off the press. The latest forecast tracks. You can see right here that this is still tropical storm looking at 45 mile per hour sustained winds, but it's going to be moving over land and there's actually some mountainous terrain. So latest forecast track very similar to what we were seeing from the previous updates, actually having it going down to tropical depression status. You can see by late tonight into early tomorrow, we're going to be tracking 35 miles per hour sustained winds. So again, regressing on just how strong this storm was. And as you can see in the tropical satellite, well, it was falling apart just a little bit earlier today, but then it has it moving over the warm, warm waters, regaining that strength Thursday, Friday into Saturday as it does near the Florida Peninsula and then even stronger, still remaining a tropical storm as we head into Sunday and early Monday as it moves just to the west of the Florida Peninsula. I do want to mention that East Central Florida, including Orlando, still in that cone of uncertainty and we would be on the east side of the system, which means we would be seeing some very gusty winds, some heavy rain. I'll show you some rainfall totals as well as the potential for some isolated tornadoes. That's something that we are always watching being on the east side of any tropical system. So I don't want to scare you. I just want to let you know that is what we could be seeing impacting our area uh, rather soon here. So Saturday and Sunday are Fox 35 storm alert days. We just want to let everybody give them a heads up to, hey, we want to make sure that you and your family do have your plan in place just in case we do get a lot of heavy rain, which could lead to localized flooding. But this is Tropical Storm Fred. You can see that circular motion is moving just to the north of where the arrows on your screen are, and the arrows are actually showing some wind shear. So that could be taking a toll why we saw maybe a bit of weakening might I say not necessarily in the winds but just in that circulation so that's something that we're watching then it's going to be moving over land which will weaken it even more just tear the storm apart but all of our future forecast models do have this system making its way between Cuba and the Florida Keys and then skirting just to the west of the peninsula. So a lot of these models are on track and we are seeing with our moisture model, all of that pink that you're seeing on the bottom hand of your uh, portion of your screen, that's all of the rain and moisture in the atmosphere from Fred. You can see as we head into Sunday, that's really going to be moving right on up the peninsula. And as the potential landfall point of this storm, again, the track could change drastically over the next few days, but we will continue to see some pockets of that moisture move through our viewing area, even as we head into early next week. So I know a lot of folks were reaching out on social media saying, when are we going to be seeing the strong winds? Again, these are preliminary timing, but we're going to be seeing it in the southern portion of the state before 8 a.m. on Saturday, then moving up toward Orlando 8 a.m. Saturday to about 8 p.m. Saturday and then into north central Florida as we head throughout the early morning hours on Sunday. So that's something that we will continue to update if the timing on those winds do change. But this is just preliminary ideas on the current track of Fred, which I mentioned could uh, move a little bit east, a little bit west, so we could be seeing a bit more or uh, gusty winds as well as rain. But not only are we tracking Fred, but also another tropical wave that's moving uh, across the tropical Atlantic out from the west coast of Africa. This is just in that it's now a 50% chance for development over the next five days. So again, that has been up from what we were seeing a little bit earlier. So right now we're tracking Fred, but that next system could be Grace. And you can see where we are on the peak of hurricane season. Not quite there yet. That's right around September 10th, but you can see we are on the up and up. So we're going to be seeing the chance for a lot more tropical activity. Again, it's this time of year. We want to let you know that you can depend on the Fox 35 storm team. We are always here in the Fox 35 storm center with chief meteorologist Jamie King, meteorologist Brooks Garner, as well as meteorologist Kristen Giannis. We are going to be bringing you the latest and most up-to-date information. Make sure that you follow us all on social media and we will bring you the latest updates. As for now, have a great rest of your day and we'll have another update as soon as there is another updated track to Fred. Thanks for joining us.